breaking news of Javante Tank Davis and Roley Romero fight being officially canceled as Roley finally gave his reaction to the women allegations by announcing that he's pulling out of the Javante Tank Davis fight in order to clear his name. Here is what Roley had to say, quote, although the allegations against me are totally false and I will prove that through the legal system, I agree that is in the best interest of everyone involved that I do not participate in the upcoming pay-per-view event. After clearing my name, I will return to the ring as soon as possible. End of the quote. Now the most likely replacement opponent is Pitbull Cruz, as he's the leading candidate as we speak. In fact, he have already agreed to all of the terms to fight Javante Tang Davis next. There's also Devin Haney, Gary Russell, and El Rayo Valenzuela, who voluntarily raised their hands in order to replace Roly Romero come December 5th. So we shall see what TMT decides to do. Furthermore, the only good news for Roly is that he survived a car accident with a tank. However, I must admit, this news came from a left field. I can't even recall the last time a fight got canceled due to allegations. Even when Kovalev punched a female in the face or Conor McGregor punching an old man, they still went on to fight for some odd reason. However, Roley basically revealed this was a mutual agreement, a mutual decision. Most likely Showtime doesn't want to receive a bad rep while promoting this fight. Neither does the fighter Roley on his first biggest stage. Last but not least, even though everybody want to see this fight, at the end of the day, I totally agree with the decision. Let Roley go ahead and clear his name, and when he do, the fight can always happen on Showtime. That being said, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.